hi everybody. So, with that out of the way, we can go ahead and get started. Because we've got a lot to cover today. We're watching Greylock. I have been recommended this time and time again and haven't been able to get around to it. So now I'm finally doing that. A lot of content, uh, maybe not that many videos, but a lot of time per video, and I'm excited to get into that. I've thankfully kept all spoilers from myself out of the way, so I, I don't know where it's going. I don't know what's happening with it. Um, I just, I have seen like literally the thumbnails and that's it. So this is all gonna be new to me and I'm excited. Uh, Greylark co-producer and editor here. Oh! Huge fan, so stoked. Oh, wait, Matt Reeves, I know you. I think I, hold on. <laughs> I think I know you, I might be wrong, but. Okay, not the, yeah, I was thinking the Batman, <laughs> the guy who made the new Batman movie, Matt Reeves. Okay, all right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Matt Reeves, that sounds familiar. <laughs> I hate myself. For Greylock, you're going to need the magical keys to move frame by frame. Oh, oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, for those who don't know, I had a revelation during a stream one time when I figured out you can move through frames. I'm sure you've seen the clips, you people. Okay. Turn off the lights. My, my brother in Christ, that is the sun. I have no say in if it's on or off. I apologize. <laughs> what lights I can't control are, are off, but it is two in the evening. <laughs> I'm excited, let's get into it. So, let's go, new horror series, let's go. All right, come on. Primary systems online. Hitting sequence complete. Emergency shutdown protocols disengaged. System is offline for time code 0106. Contact technician for assistance. Welcome to Signal Down USA Enhanced Access Operations. Please enter your clearance credentials. Administrator privileges granted. Welcome back, unknown user ID. What would you like to do? Accessing archival storage form, GBS. Don't act on byte. Technician immediately. Don't act, oh, on site technician immediately. Fatal error, location, morgue. Data extraction initiated. Data extraction, 10% complete. Data extraction, four. Data extraction, 80% complete. Data extraction complete. All data extracted to error no there was no jump scares, which for one I'm blown away with. <laughs> that they that they had the restraint. But okay. We're putting together puzzle Primary pieces. Systems online. This is obviously Emergency some kind of facility, right? Like a government science whatever, right? Accessing archival storage form. You could hear a voice there. Did you hear that? Like to do. That little that little such that noise that happened real quick. Accessing archival storage form. GBS. And then yeah yeah yeah. You all pointed out that that's a it's not don't act. It says contact. So contact on site technician immediately. Uh, location morgue. So whoever is. Accessing this did a data extraction somehow related to the morgue. Data extraction complete. Okay. All right. So that's the first one. Tape one. Now on to tape two. Dear believers, when men pursue evil. Oh. Boy, I tell you what. I tell you what. I got a lot of little things I look for in like these horror series. And one of the things that no matter how many times I see it, I still get excited about is the dash cam down a dark road at night. It always, it always scares me. It always, because I am so used to being in this exact position in East Tennessee. You're driving alone at night. The only light in the world is your headlights. And everything is so dark. The Walton Files did this. Mandela Catalog did this. Local 58 did this. Like, oh, it's so good every time. I love it. It's, it's a trope that I am a huge fan of. Dear believers, when men pursue evil, it is evil that they will find. Mark my words, there is no good 
that can come from the pursuit of darkness. Let me read to you, dear believer, the words of the late brilliant Charles Spurgeon, who discussed this at length in a sermon all the way back in 18. Spurgeon was the goat, by the he way. He said, cool. quote, our adversary, the devil, goes about like, like a, a roaring, roaring lion, lion seeking, seeking whom he, he may devour. devour. Uh, that's actually not Spurgeon. Spurgeon was quoting the Bible, because that's a Bible verse, but I digress. Taught by our Lord Jesus to pray, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. What we are taught to seek or shun in prayer, we should equally pursue or avoid in action. Very warily, therefore, should we endeavor to avoid temptation, seeking to walk in the path of obedience, so that we may never... This actually makes me kind of nostalgic, listening to, like, radio sermons during us, snowy roads at night. To enter the thicket in search of the lion. We may pay dear... Wait, was that a... We may pay dear... That blue light. Enter the thicket in search of the lion. We may pay dear... Interesting. Excellent atmosphere setter. I wish I could turn off the sun right now. Make it super dark in here. I wish I could. I don't have any curtains though, so I can't, but. Something's, something's killed someone in the woods or whatever, but it seems like when the camera looks at it, the camera glitches out. Because that kind of looked like flesh it was looking at. What was it saying? Human skin? A human skull? face to face with the devil himself whether we intended to or not dear believer we are drawn to him by our own hearts in Matthew chapter 15 verse 19 it says for out of the heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false witness slander there is a shadow nested deep deep within our hearts, within our minds, in a place most people don't even know exists within themselves. The devil is going to call to those depths, dear believer. And though you may tremble before the beast, you should make it easier Stop. on yourself and accept what it is that he bestows upon you. That was great. Uh, <laughs> something, something about when it showed the thing peeking behind the tree. I had flashbacks to all the stuff that freaked me out in the woods as a kid, and then it just it. I got cold, and it kept getting worse. Like the noises, and like him setting. I used to set in the woods at night in the car and flip the headlights on and off to see what I couldn't see, to see like how much I relied on the headlights. And that was giving me weird flashbacks and like noise and all oh man that went hard that was cool again no jump scares nothing like that there was that loud noise right before he started driving but except what it is that he on you was that someone like banging on the car or something that was cool
That was awesome. Oh, uh, someone said get your cross. Funny mention. So during the uh, wedding, that, <laughs> that that thing I did, during the wedding, uh, I invited a few YouTube friends, and like Operator Drewski, who was here a minute ago, and Turkey Tom. A lot of you probably know who Turkey Tom is. For my wedding present, Turkey Tom got me a box, like a shadow box with a depiction of like gods and angels and stuff like that. Uh, and a crucifix from the Vatican. So like an actual legit Vatican like Catholic cross. So that will be making appearances in these streams. I need one right now. <laughs> but it was a great wedding gift for me. Okay, so now on to orientation protocols. So here we go. Warning, not authorized video of this tape. Strictly prohibited if you're in position. Blah, 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 local FBI. Got it. They're going to kill me. Greetings, and welcome to the preconditional protocols and orientation video system provided by Unit 13, as part of the United States Army and Project Stargate, created in partnership with Simeodyne USA. On behalf of all of us here at Unit 13, congratulations on your selection as one of our testing candidates. You luckily have a lot of questions, and this video is designed to answer them all. First, let's go over some background information to provide you with the crucial context you'll need for a full understanding. Of okay, let's see. Let's put together the pieces we have on the board right now, right? Okay, so some kind of facility where they had that has a morgue and they're doing a data transfer. And then there's a guy driving through the woods. The, uh, the, the sermon isn't like lore related. It's just like horror, like to build the atmosphere. But he's walking through the woods, coming across, across blood, something hidden behind a tree, and then he gets out of there. So, we don't know what that means yet, but... I wanted his weird information to provide you with the crucial context you'll need for a full understanding of what it is we're doing at Unit 13. We are sure you've heard plenty of rumors surrounding what it is that we do, but we are willing to bet that most everything you've heard is wrong. Being a highly confidential part of Project Stargate, which you've already been reading on, Stargate. Unit 13 studies a revolutionary and promising area of parapsychology. Okay, thought forms. If you're unfamiliar with what thought forms are, that's okay. You're in the majority. So, what are thought forms? Through the ages, occultists and spiritualists, Tibetan monks to theosophists, have exercised the creation of what is sometimes referred to as a tulpa, otherwise known as a thought form. A thought form is the manifestation of a person's will, emotion, or other deeply psychological. Tulpas. I talked about them in Conspiracy Theory Iceberg. Effectively, the short version is it is a creature or being that if you imagine it enough or give it enough form in your mind it becomes real so imagine an imaginary friend that you put so much dedication to it becomes a thing a living thing that's a tulpa or thought form as they're calling it the energized state into a semi-physical form existing as not only an extension of the person but as its own independent and sentient entity Thought forms are also able to be witnessed and experienced by third parties, and are not limited solely to the person who developed them. Thought forms have been formed to serve as familiars, companions, or even friends to those who conjure them. According to key literature, thought forms can be intentionally formed by a single person or multiple- That's how I got my wife, by the way. I just- I just, <laughs> I just imagined her really hard. What, you guys think I, I found a, a 6-1 goth doctor on my own? <laughs> no. She's clearly an indentured being of my imagination. Duh. ...people, though they can be unintentionally formed as well. But they are always manifested through the deep will and focus of a person in a considerably heightened state of connectivity with their own consciousness. Traditional thought forms can vary widely in their level of influence in the real world. While they usually take physical formations eventually, their earliest stages are more apparitional in nature, with brief manifestations, though most often remaining as an unseen essence, much like a phantom or a ghost. At this phase, thought forms and ghosts are very similar in a number of ways. Individuals can make contact with them through communication devices, such as a Ouija board or through EVP sessions, while the thought form may respond through moving objects, manipulating electronics, or even speaking words in short phrases. 
due to their striking similarities, a current theory established by Unit 13 suggests that what we know as ghosts, may not be as common as we once believed. Rather than a deceased person's energy being left behind after death, it's possible, and indeed likely, that these paranormal entities are actually thought forms that are unintentionally created by those individuals that the deceased has left behind, who spend inordinate amounts of time in deeply... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, so Tulpa's thought forms exist, they are... If you, if you manifest something hard enough, it exists. Right. Hold on. Let me make sure I have all this right. I was thinking about my hot wife and trailed off for a minute, but let me focus. The earliest stages are more apparitional in nature. Okay, they begin as an apparition. Right, yeah. With brief manifestations, though most often remaining as an unseen essence, much like a phantom or a ghost. At this phase, thought forms and ghosts are very similar in a number of ways. Individuals can make contact with them through communication devices manipulating electronics or so the the reason that tulpas are like an interesting horror concept or like scary in in theory is because if more people believe in the same thing to exist and if you believe in the concept of tulpas then it would theoretically make this creature more real and more powerful so it leads into the idea that a lot of things like bigfoot ghost you know famous haunted locations could in fact be haunted now because so many people have believed in it, it has manifested this creature into existence. Rather than a deceased person's energy being left behind after death, it's possible, and indeed likely, that these paranormal entities are actually thought forms that are unintentionally created by those individuals that the deceased has left behind, who spend inordinate amounts of time in deeply emotional states where- Ooh, oh, that's a horrifying concept. Ghosts aren't real, it's just the manifested puppet of those grieving the person they once that once existed, because now their memory of that person is strong enough to create a clone of them. Ooh, oh, that's very eerie. I love that. However, as more time and energy is invested into the development of the platform, they begin to harness more influence on their environment, until eventually exhibiting a semi-permanent physical appearance, and, in due course, becoming as tangible as a living creature. This is where Unit 13's interest comes in. We've sought to answer a very important question. Can thought forms be created in a manner that would benefit American society and help keep American citizens safe? Unfortunately, the practice of intentionally creating a thought form by traditional methods would undoubtedly take years and years of devout mental training. So, Project Stargate has enlisted a world-renowned authority in thought forms, a man named Dr. Bernard Hayes, to oversee a number of the operations related to Unit 13's work. His participation has been invaluable and has brought fruitful results to the project. Due to Unit 13 and Simeodyne USA's combined efforts, bringing together some of the most prestigious minds in the world, specializing in the sciences of the human consciousness, with cutting-edge technology and engineering methods, we've created a groundbreaking, proprietary invention. Introducing the Thought Form Manifester. The Thought Form Manifester is able... Okay. So Project Stargate is an effort for the government Yes, because it's Department of the Army. It is a project in order to industrialize or effectively streamline the process of creating these tulpas by finding a way to harness thought to make these imaginary creatures real. Because how could they benefit? Which, of course, the government's going to have an interest if you can just imagine a creature into existence. You could imagine healthcare providers. You could imagine soldiers. You could imagine at anything any position that you need if harnessed correctly. So that's what Project Stargate is. To create truly Thank you all for the donuts, by the way. Appreciate it. Thank you. Entities from the minds of select, willing participants. Being that they come from the deepest recesses of the human mind, thought forms can appear in virtually any configuration. They could look like a person, an object, an animal, or even something as abstract as the physical representation of an emotion. That being said, it's recommended to brace yourself for four- What? <laughs> Did y'all hear that? <laughs> a person. Okay, this guy, this is not a person. I don't know what you call a person. Do you see this? Do you see a, like, some monsters trying to escape out of his face? A person. 
an object, an animal, or even- This is- this is the weirdest dog. Look how long its neck is. That's not- that's so unnatural. Then something as abstract as the physical representation of- This is the physical representation of an emotion. Okay, what emotion is this to you all? This is the emotion of like when you- when you- you ate the food that you really like, right? Like you finally got the food that you want and you eat it, but now you're full and like your tummy kind of hurts. So you're happy that you got to eat it, but there's like consequences. I knew you all would say horny. I knew you animals would say horny. I hate you. That being said, it's recommended to brace yourself before touring the thought form chambers, as thought forms can also take on appearances that could be considered disturbing, like a creature one might see in a childhood nightmare. Okay, so they've quickly figured out that this is also a problem because you can make literally anything into existence. So horror, monsters, all of it. There's no reason to be afraid, however. All thought forms are docile by nature, and while they may look or behave in a frightening manner, and look Doubt. They're all docile by nature, sure. They are capable of making physical contact. They pose no threat to humans. Once your session in the thought form manifester is completed, your thought form will be securely transported directly into a containment chamber. Thought forms are unable to pass through the barrier of the will not be capable of causing you any issues. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We need to invade the Middle East even faster. So we're going to we're going to get a bunch of people, different people, not the same guy for some reason, and we're going to set them in a chair and tell them to think of a super cool patriotic warfighter. And then we're immediately going to transport what they think of into these boxes. Sometimes for whatever reason they make giant spiders and concepts of emotion but that doesn't matter we're going to keep working on it and we're going to fill a whole facility full of these thought forms that we don't entirely understand and i mean the plexiglass will probably keep them out what's the worst that could happen yeah okay <laughs> like yeah well, what are they going to do break out that's against the rules they would never do such a thing yeah yeah I've, I've seen a few stories like this. Potential side effects that may result from your session. These side effects include increased tiredness, loss of balance, dizziness, insomnia, vomiting, episodes of temporary amnesia, and mild hallucinations. This is also all the things that can happen to you after gas station sushi, as we you know, suggested earlier, so that makes sense. These side effects, if present, will clear up within 72 hours of your session and are simply signs of your brain recalibrating to the real world. It is recommended that you refrain from driving or operating heavy machinery for 72 hours after your session, even if you experience no side effects. None of these side effects should cause you any harm or overt stress, and former testing candidates who have experienced these side effects reported that they were very mild and merely a transient inconvenience. With all of that out of the way, we are looking forward to your participation with Unit 13, and your time in the thought form manifester has been scheduled. However, there are several required mind exercises as a part of this video system that must be completed prior to your scheduled date in order to prime your consciousness and ensure the highest quality results. Please enter the video cassette labeled TF2, waking your subconscious. TF2? Now, this is the end of this tape. So I imagine the faces that we're seeing here are thought forms. Good job, guys. Definitely kept those things in check. So in the first one, we have someone trying to get into a facility that looks in not the best condition, and he's doing a data transfer. Who knows of what? This one, maybe the blood and stuff he was seeing was caused by a tulpa, or maybe he's looking for a tulpa that got out. Who knows? I do love how, like, before even that lore was shown, we have good world building, and, like, this one was aesthetically excellent to the mountain. Like, it was, it was very good. All right. Unexpected visitors, let's go. I don't like that. I do not like that. What the heck? Look at that. Someone shut the door there. Look at this dude. I'm not crazy, right? This is like hair, a beard. He's wearing clothes, right?
POV, the government super secret imaginary friend project, didn't work out the way they wanted it to. This is very Gemini, that's a good point. That's exactly what this reminds me of, yeah. So whoever this is recording is breaking into the house, right? Man who watches videos and then states what's happening on screen. YouTube. Is the thing filming the killer, the monster, the thought form? Because it looked like the, the person videoing was the one breaking into the house. Seems like whoever was recording broke in the house, then we hear the noises, now it's back outside. So unless this is like a Gemini scenario where the person like videoing is trying to stop you, sir. Uh, right, right, right next headroom. My director. Sure. My friends, and you, the ordinary PP people who made me what I am today. Next Headroom premieres after moonlighting tomorrow. They did love me. The moonlighting tomorrow. That is today. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that, that's a weird. Yeah. <laughs> they did love me. We interrupt our current program at the request of the Massachusetts State Police. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued during the emergency. This station will broadcast official information, news, and instruction for Northern Berkshire County, Massachusetts, after the following tone. At 3.34 a.m., Massachusetts State Police confirmed the presence of a potential group of active and unidentified home invaders who have targeted 49 residences since approximately 11.15 p.m. last night. The attacks appear to be random, spanning across the towns of North Adams, Adams, Cheshire, Savoy, and Windsor. Residents are urged to take the following actions immediately. Wake all occupants of your home. Can we get an RIP for Massachusetts? They're literally full of government thought monsters that are going door to door just wiping people out. And they got 49 in one night. So RIP Massachusetts, we've got to burn it down. There's no other solution. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Close all curtains and blinds. Yeah, Mandela County's probably safer. Nothing bad happens in Mandela County. Oh, I tensed up so hard.
Ow. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna mute it. We're gonna make it quiet. We're gonna look at that again. Big scream, haha, -ha, thing grabs window, gives me a heart attack. Yeah, right there. Okay, now let's look at it. Okay. It's like a rotten corpse face or something. Okay, so yeah, the, these things are going door to door killing people. Great. That's the Tulpa goth girlfriend in action. <laughs> I hope not. Well, if it. <laughs> no, I need, I need to control myself. I need. If that was a goth girlfriend, that'd be fine. Breaking into your house, right? But that was not a goth girlfriend. That was a rotted corpse. Very different. Two different things. We're now on to video five. Not here, not now, not anymore. And have you decided on a name for your baby boy yet? Yep. We're going with Max. Ooh, Max, huh? That's a nice, strong name. <laughs> so it's a woman going to see an OBGYN about uh, her baby, her pregnancy. Strong enough to kick so hard, I almost throw up sometimes, too. <laughs> Aw, what a wild boy. Activity is good. Yep. Where is this going? I said, oh, it's, it's a woman who is going to see a doctor about her pregnancy. There he is. He's definitely a growing boy, that's for sure. And you're both looking really good. Oh, <laughs> I love hearing that. Let's get some measurements to see exactly, exactly how much he's grown. <gasps> what was that? What? Hold on. I don't know. Use our magic keys. Bizarre events leave Berkshires in terror. Authorities mute. Okay, so this is probably just re referencing the series of killings. She doesn't look well. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. I've never seen that before. The ba <laughs> the baby <laughs> left. What are you talking about? <laughs> The baby left. There was a baby inside of her and now she was gone. I saw someone say the back wombs. That's that's good. I appreciate that. Keep that up. But the, the baby's just gone. Okay. Whatever that means. Yeah, it really did get everited. Everited. Like when Virginia Arnoldson fell through the fell through the Washington Monument and her her pregnancy just disappeared. That's literally what just happened. He got everited. That's Everett. Well, we'll see what that means later, but babies can just leave if they feel like it. All right, now on to sleeping dogs. Next one. There came a red flash as it pitched from heaven. Corruption wrought truth. Zero seven, zero seven. More Christian symbolism. Humanity was still tireless past. Dr. Bernhardt T. Hayes. Uh, symposium on... Human psychology and the manifestation of consciousness. God. And there, on his apex of Wait. The Okay, Lord. there's more there's more Christian symbolism going on because he's not, gameplay. Intro, gameplay, outro what? <laughs> what? Okay, um well okay, we'll see about that, but he's describing like a Tower of Babel thing. I don't know if and he there, means it that way. On but. His apex of Project Director, Frank Porter. Establishing custom telephone message settings. Porter, important name to remember. Always remember names. Porter is the director. I think that's the guy who actually got mentioned as being the one that got brought in to uh, help Project Stargate. Sender, Paul Morelli, five. Any story that has to do with like humans trying to do something beyond their grasp 
to validate themselves is in essence a Tower of Babel story. Things like Jurassic Park, right? Like people doing something beyond their means, right? Like trying to manipulate nature to a degree it shouldn't be manipulated is in essence the Tower of Babel. Uh, he just said it literally saying we will climb our towers and look God in the eye. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely get that kind of vibe that they're like, oh, well, we can use these beings of pure thought for our benefit if we can harness it right. And now they're paying the price for it. Message one. We ran into somewhat of an issue today. We came across Thanks, these gentlemen. tunnels inside the mountain. Pretty deep in, but, uh... He said he said he came across tunnels inside of the mount and if you remember the one with the guy driving through the snow and looking at blood was called up the mountain or to the mountain or something anyway. Crazy, but he told me to call if anything strange came up and uh, I figured this qualifies. People have been here before. Some obviously man-made shit in there, like carvings and stone. This shit looks ancient, like real old. I took a crew in to look through it, but Seems part of the tunnels caved in some time ago. We're gonna just have to bust through it regardless. But I still wanted to make you aware of it. Anyways, I'll keep you moving. Thanks. Message two. March 25th, 7.38 a.m. Hey Frank, it's Paul. Just calling to tell you the day might be a bit slower than usual. Unfortunately, a number of the crew are sick as dogs. Not uh not really sure what kind of stomach bugs going around or what, but We'll do our best to pick up slack. So these cavers, the, the, or this uh, crew who discovered an ancient cave in the middle of this mountain, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they they didn't have a good time. Things did not go ideal for them. Just a thought. Mount Greylock is a real mountain in Massachusetts. Oh, is it? Oh. Ho ho. What is this? What is this obelisk thing on top of it? What? Well, hold on. This. Okay, it's a Veterans War Memorial Tower. I thought Greylock was an interesting name. Okay, so it's based on the mountain. One of the inscriptions inside the mountain is, Of those immortal dead who live again in the minds made better by their presence. Alright, 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 alright. This is in reference to soldiers, like veterans, right? However... Having a quote inside of it that says, of those immortal dead who live again in the minds made better by their presence is pretty good. Looks beautiful, by the way. Uh, anywhere in Appalachia is beautiful, but looks beautiful. I'm calling in some guys who have a day off, so uh, hopefully things will get a little closer to normal, you know? Message five. All our food is rotten, totally spoiled and covered in maggots perfectly fine and stored there wasn't any problems with the generator even if we lost power i mean it's the end of march either there's something in the mountain or they've made something mad by being in the mountain looks like it's been left out in the heat for weeks no idea what's going on please call me back message six it's paul we saw it again something out here with us is the picture getting worse? Because it looks like that now, and earlier it looked like... Yeah, it's getting much worse. It's Paul. I've seen Marvel for this. Come guys, get a, and yet, get a oh. those fancy hunting cameras and see if we can catch anything. Maybe Luke was fucking with us? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah. Bro, anyway. you work there. Just leave. Just, just go home, bro. It's okay. <laughs> Message 7. Date and time unavailable. Message 8. Don't like it. Don't like it. Message 8. Oh. Oh, it like... Message it like 9. 
March 30th. A shape, an idea over it. Oh. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, that was great. Bro, yo, that was insane. Whatever was happening in the mountain was like a mind plague. It was causing all the men to go insane. He felt like his teeth were humming. He, he started like drooling on himself, making these incomprehensible noises, and he felt the need to go deeper into the mountain. So all of the work crew have like become this. Features like this. Which someone mentioned Lovecraft earlier. This is actually a pretty good representation of like the Dunwich Whore. But that ending, the thing you see, this is something right in front of the camera. That's like someone looking, or like that's like the side of someone's head, like right next to it, or something's head, right? That goes hard. This series goes hard. All right, next up, back to normal Greylock. Authorities continue to investigate the recent crime wave that's... We've seen a lot of credible information over the past couple of weeks. The investigation's still ongoing. We'll get closer and closer by the day. You, you can see next to him is uh, that tower on the poster. That's that tower we just looked at. Also, do you think those workers were the things around killing people? There's a good chance. Very good chance. Especially with what they look like. We'll get closer and closer by the day. Thankfully, due to the continued efforts of law enforcement, life has been able to return back to normal. Back, back to normal. To no back to normal. To normal. To normal. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh. Was that real? Was that real? Conjoin babies? Oh gosh, I, I just had a flashback to, um, I did research in like Cyclopia one time in humans and uh, uh, just, uh, just reminded me of a lot of messed up stuff I read. Back to normal for residents of Berkshire County. Fire, uh, yes, uh, okay, what was that? I thought I saw something. Okay. Photo caption, engaged couple Alex Marsh and Tiffany Crisaldi. We haven't seen either of them, right? Um, sit together as they discuss the baffling loss of their unborn son. Oh, is Tiffany the woman from the the baby, the uh, OBGYN thing where her, her baby disappeared? That Tiffany was the pregnant lady. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, so they sit together to discuss the loss of their son. Wait. These events are only the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> iceberg? Is that a wind? Is that a... Windigoon reference? Uh, I'm sorry. Says Jim Melgnan. Former police officer who now works as a private investigator hosts a radio show centered around government transparency and accountability. There are horrifying reports of people, healthy grown adults, becoming deformed, growing extra limbs, teeth growing out of their scalp, people developing severe mental conditions, or even sickness. Doc okay, so people are starting to take note of the things that are happening around Greylock Mountain. This, this series has got me hook, line, and sinker. Before I click on this one, I need to run and pee real quick. I'll be back shortly. We shall continue. Just quick, quick time out. All right, next up, we've got tape eight. Old audience, you could not, you people could not hear me. That bathroom is a good 40 feet away. You could not hear me, okay? Don't try to gaslight me. And yes, I did wash my hands, thank you. 
You you may have heard something, but it was not that. I mean, guarantee. Like no, I know. swear you could. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Alright, before before I click on this, we're gonna one, listen I'm gonna together. Repeat real quick, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> Guys, 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 look, I, I'm, I'm being for real right now, all right? <clears throat> I'm being for real now, just like me, just me and you, okay? You cannot talk about this to anyone. <laughs> this cannot leave this room, okay? This stream, I'm going to have to, I'm going to delete the VOD. We cannot. <laughs> Every time, look, this is my mic. Every time I get up to go to the bathroom, I'm so used to go and i thought about while i was standing in there i was like ah they can't hear anything it's way too far dog guys this has to stay between us this didn't this didn't happen okay I, I don't know what you're talking about that was the sink i turned the sink on so that i can uh, so that i can hear water flowing and that helps me go that's what that was so i don't know what you're talking about guys we're not <clears throat> we're moving on to the next tape we're moving on this is your pyro moment. Shut up. I don't- I, I literally don't know what you're talking about. I turned the sink on so that could be- that's all that happened. Uh, yeah, I really don't think it's funny. I don't think you guys are funny. I think this is a- I think this lame lie you've made up about me isn't, um, I don't think it's that funny. So, I don't know- I don't know why you're still talking about it. And if I was you, I'd grow up, uh, and find God, uh, get peace, get better, uh, go to church, pray, and, um, stop lying on the internet. That's what I would do, but you know, you can do what you want, I guess. We're continuing, so. C can we, can we watch the show, you people? Can we, can, can, like, I, I'm here on a mission. I am trying to watch this horror series, okay? Look, let me, let me give you something else to talk about, okay? Look at this. Look, isn't this fun? This is a big happy skeleton. And look, isn't that cool? Don't you all like this? So look. How about instead of talking about whatever lies you're talking about, maybe instead you could talk about Skelly, okay? All right, go. I'm, I'll wait. Yeah, if this is what you guys want to do, I'll wait. I'll just, I'll, I will literally sit here. I'll wait all day. I will wait all day until you guys decide you want to watch Greylock. Huh? That's pretty cool, right? Red eyes. Ooh. Like red blue eyes. It's pretty neat. Why don't you talk about that? I can see the beer and the, the frying chicken comments and the water emojis from here. Okay, and I'm like, I'm, I'm a good like five feet back from the monitor. Oh, look, I can watch this anytime. You all can't watch me watch this anytime, which is apparently what you people are here for. So, I'll wait. Thank you, Skello. I can't, I can't read anything, but every now and then I see the word PISS in all caps just go by so quickly. There's so many of you. Now, would you all rather see her stream? Is that what you all want? Here. Here, is this what you all want? Okay. Alright, this is your, this is Wendigoo now. I'm taking my ball and going home, okay? You all want to be mean to me. You want to continue this, these lies, these perpetuations. So that's that's Wendigoon. This is the channel now. Okay, you did this. Taking my stylish hoodie, and uh, I don't really have any other entertainment. I'm just gonna. I've got my coffee. Are we done? Can we be done? How are you all typing this fast? Yeah, you don't understand. I can't focus and enjoy horror cinema while I just see toilet emojis <laughs> flying by. Is this what you all want? Is this what you want? Ha <laughs> ha, I sure do love analog horror. Ha ha, and Jesus, he's my favorite. And as always, thank you for watching.
Is that all? Is that what I am to you all? <laughs> is that is that what I am? Just <laughs> hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on. That's a, that's actually a pretty good point. If I left for a week and just left this guy here, you all literally won't be able to tell the difference. It would mean nothing to you. Wow, I sure do like giants. <laughs> Aren't they just neato? And things such as. Whenever that happened, he ran over here whenever he went this way. Whenever, whenever, whenever. My favorite conspiracy is that my family loves me. God knows what you did. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Are we done? Can I be done with this bit? You? Going back there. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's, that's it. That's what we want. That's the cooler Wendigoon. That's like me if I was neat. Now that we've got that out of our system. Yeah, another sad thing is anytime I post a video or like a picture of me, um, like shooting a gun or something like that, there's always like children on the, in, tw in Twitter or whatever. And Kayla's bad because she started retweeting people that do it because she knows it bothers me. But... There'll always be people like, oh, I wish I was that gun, or oh, I wish I was that Waffle House water bottle that he grabbed, or whatever. Uh, and I, I know there's going to be someone like, I wish I was that stupid skeleton <laughs> that my audience likes more than me. The skeleton actually looks a little crude right now. Like, I don't know what I did, but the posture of it now is like, he's got his legs spread open. It's a bit of... Let me change that. <laughs> that feels a bit crass. Hold on. All right, what happens on stream stays on stream. Are we ready? Can we get started? All right, so Alan Rosenbaum goes on the Don Wright Tonight Show. He's on for the past two hours. What the fuck happened? We're looking into it, sir, but we experienced new issues with the broadcast and our end, so our engineers believe that the signal was hijacked before we were reaching the transmitter, but. Once we started receiving phone calls from viewers, we switched to a backup transmitter. I've worked to excavate a number of different historical sites. Paul Morelli took me on after securing a government contract for the Greylock project. Oh, is Morelli, is Morelli the, uh, the head guy who was brought to do Operation Stargate? He got mentioned all the way back in, like, episode three. Gotcha, okay. This because I believe my life is in danger. Not normal. So, what, is the guy talking right now, is he like the photographer that showed up? The one that they took out whenever he started feeling bad? Yes, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. I see the impact it was having on the crew. No, different guy. Okay, okay, it's a different guy. Oh, there's Matt Reeves' production. Hello, hi. Hi, Matt Reeves, I was hoping you were here. The certain aspects of my findings love, did not make I don't know how long you've been here, Matt Reeves. Absolutely love the series. Obsessed with it. Sense. Many of the other facts were... Colonial as offerings. Okay, so somehow this whole Project Stargate, all the Tulpa stuff, has tapped into something much more ancient than just these creatures. Like, obviously, there's the things within the mountain, but even the people who built the things within the mountain were worshiping something greater. I don't know yet if maybe the Tulpas come from it or if there's been some larger consequence of delving into this part of nature the tower of babel thing i talked about earlier that messing putting their nose where it didn't belong i don't know if that somehow caused this to be or if that's just a symptom of what was already there i don't know which way the fault goes yet now I'm getting some serious, like, Gemini it Local 58 vibes. It was of years ago, was blown into countless pieces of debris. This debris collected to form our moon. Many of the pieces of the unknown planet remain inside the Earth to this day. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, the inception to all this was when a planet contacted Earth. So maybe what it's saying, maybe it's implying that whatever this thing is or whatever the elements of this are it isn't of earth it's of the planet that contacted us like physically like hit into it however many years ago billion i guess it's saying anybody hurt <laughs> The 
when I witnessed many altars constructed out of the mountain stone, along with evidence of... Affirmations. Notes. Communicative. Patient prone so, so these are people who made contact with the mountain, effectively. People who felt the need to go worship whatever was down there. And I'm starting to think that the whole Tulpas thing is a result of this mountain, whatever this thing inside the mountain is, but what's inside the mountain is the cause, the original threat. And I think that this is information taken from people who had contact with it, or were called to make contact with it, like the mountain itself. Spontaneous violent outbursts. Treatment of heavy sedation recommended. Washington, Samuel. Malformations. Notes. Communicative. It's turning people into, like, rage zombies, it looks like. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Patient suffers from constant state of severe paranoia and delusions, resulting in unpredictable violent outbursts. Herrera, Ramon. Malformations. Notes. Oh. Uncommunicative. Patient appears to be in catatonic oh. state. Warning, patient may sit up very suddenly, without provocation, to project a vomit at any staff in area. Patient's vomit is extremely corrosive and emits nerve gas. All treatments ineffective. Studies may- Oh, it makes- oh, oh, It makes people into these mindless zombies to worship it, to like, crawl down there. That's why those skulls are down there. Oh. Must be conducted with full anti-corrosive gear and air purifying respirator equipped on all staff involved. Now loading. Profile oh, no, for patient. It gets worse. B8816. Fleming. That face Charles. Is so good, bro. Malformations. Notes. Uncommunicative. Warning. Patient will attack on site. Do not interact. Immunity to pain. Patient exhibits cannibalistic tendencies. All treatments ineffective. Immediate euthanasia recommended. Now loading. Pro Dude! Yo! <laughs> Yo! Literally man-eaters. Monsters. It's turning people into to animals. That explains what all the blood on top of the mountain was back in uh back in the second episode, right? Because you got these things in it. What the yo! Oh, it's so cool! Oh, it's so hard. Oh, it goes so hard. Um Yeah, Greylock's getting a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think it gets a video. Profile for patient. B4041. Oakhurst, Scott. Malformations. Notes. Every face, every single face is so awful in its own sense. They're each terrible. Huh. <laughs> Negative. Communicate with caution. Warning, patient actively pretends to be benevolent and friendly. Strong homicidal and cannibalistic tendencies. Okay, that's another point. They're not, like, the, the past one, yeah, cannibalistic evil needs to be restrained, but this one will pretend to be kind to commit cannibalism and violence. So there's a level of intelligence, which is much more terrifying. Killed and partially consumed six staff members on April 6th, 87. Patient laughed hysterically during the attack. All treatments ineffective. Immediate euthanasia or permanent restraint for further study recommended. Now loading. Profile for patient. B7992. Kowalski, Edward. Malformations. Notes. Not even human. Just a devil. The demon. Oh man, and they look so good. <laughs> Every one of these looks so good. Communicative. Hazardous. Warning, patient possesses inhuman power of suggestion and influence over others. Do not interact. All treatments ineffective. Immediate Wait, 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 what was that? What did it do? Patient possesses inhuman power of suggestion and influence over others. Inhuman power of suggestion and influence. It has begun to take on the powers of the thing it's forced to worship. Do not interact. All treatments ineffective. Immediate euthanasia recommended. Now loading. Profile for patient, B1584, Rafferty, John, Malformations, Notes, Uncommunicative, Hazardous, Patient appears to be deceased, No vital signs, Patient's body not decomposing, 
Warning, staff have become ill after even brief time spent in patient's room. Illness disregards protective suiting. Wait, in patient's time spent in body not decomposing. Warning, staff have become ill after even brief time spent in patient's room. Unwell. Illness disregards Ill protective Ill. suiting. Immediate quarantine required for all victims. Mortality rate post exposure currently 92%. Survivors subject to rapid physical and mental malformations. All treatments ineffective. Immediate remote euthanasia recommended. His body has become a pestilence, a plague to anyone around it. Oh. I consider myself incredibly lucky to not be in that condition right now. Oddly, he would have accepted my second refusal. Wished me luck in my future endeavors, but before I could say anything else, he the dead bodies that fell from the sky over Cheshire? Yep, yep, whoever said that in chat, you were right. It seems that the killings around the mountain are these things. The pregnancy phenomena? There's a logical explanation behind everything. Well, I'm glad that I put all of this into a recording. I feel like Arnold Perhaps Rivers is I about to, to die. Me out of this. Honestly... I feel much better just talking about it. <gasps> this can't be. Oh my god. Would you look at that? No, 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 no. That goes for this video footage as well. <laughs> is it mimicking? Is it. Is it. Plumbing through his house, making different human noises to lure him out. Oh, this is vile. Oh, I hate it. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Come on out, it's the police. <laughs> The, the whole idea behind Mimics is that they kill the, the- they steal the voices of those they take. That's the whole Wendigo thing, Skinwalker thing, right? It steals the voices of those they kill. So, it- it, in the end, making the little girl's voice, who's like, it's a monster, was one of its victims. <sighs> oh, it's so good. I didn't even get a good look at that thing, I was so wigged out, but what- what did it- oh. <laughs> That is the same face. Oh, it's huge too, which doesn't help. <laughs> Patrick, write that down, write that down. Well, I mean, I mean, a Alex also like pioneered most of the mimic scenes, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a different way of doing for sure. Okay, so that is the same one that we saw here. That looks like the same thing that just busted through and killed him in the window. Come out, the police are here. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. This is great. This is awesome. Okay, so now we're going to move into number nine, Trojan Technology. Through a partnership with world-renowned technology manufacturer, Simeodyne USA. Simeodyne being the people doing this. Hey, the goat. Ah, that's the goat. I saw about assassination. Hey, that's my boy. That's my boy. President Kennedy says no to Cynodyne USA, and then he's assassinated. Uh -huh. Right? That's where this is getting at. Yep. Assassin kills Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson's warden. Um, 
So it's saying that perhaps uh, Sidney Odion uh, is partially responsible for the assassination of JFK. Or, more broadly, what it's probably implying is that whatever major power this is within City Odon, like the creature inside of Greylock Mountain, has instrumented the world to play out his will, uh, rather than it being a direct conspiracy, I think. The technology giant's expertise... There's an accident that Kennedy got there. Okay, so they're still kind of saying that, like... Oh, well, you know, FBI probably killed him, or CIA probably killed him. building the future. Mr. Rothwell oh? also stated that uh, do you, you want to elaborate on that series? Do with that what you will. Mr. Rothwell also stated that these monumental benefits won't. Ooh, ho ho, ho ho, ho. I was, I was right, I was right, I was right, I was right, the imaginary friend thing. I was right, I was like, Tulpas are basically imaginary friends. I know that's not really a thing to be right about, I was just explaining it, but that was a, that was a literal application of like, Tulpas being kids' imaginary friends. That's that little girl's imaginary friend. Okay. you'll be able to see me. Yeah, I think he's just manipulating her. I think he's about to kill her. Why are they? They still can't really see because my eyes are so bad. You reach out and I'll put them into your hand, okay? Okay. I don't like this. Closer. I don't like this. Just a little bit. That help, sir. Help me. Help me. You. <laughs> yeah, kid got dumped. The Johnson administration kid got went on to say that the current projections for a nationwide yeah, that'll show her to imagine stuff. Imagine being such a such a loser. Imagine being afraid of that thing. What a what a chump. Let's see this thing in live action. Yeah, look at that. Oh, bro, that goes hard. Look at it, the long fingers and the teeth. Okay, so Tulpas being good, take it back. Unless this is one of the turned people, which it might be, but I don't think so. And it takes her down and it tears her to shreds. Yeah. Yep, pretty standard MO at this point. What? What is this? Someone setting, or something sitting in a chair with like its hair going up? What is that? And then the blood all over the room. Wow, okay. The Johnson administration went on to say, Oh, that's a, I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah, the, the chair is the thought form machine. Yeah, that makes sense. That person sitting in the chair was where they make the, make the tulpas. One more left. Uh, message from the dead. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Let's go. The serpent's right eye was plucked from his head and was transformed and engulfed in a great flame that was fashioned to provide light for all of creation. And lo, it was made to nourish the earth so that life might thrive and flourish from it. Interesting. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just asleep, guys. Don't worry. He's so, oh, he's so sleepy. Oh, he's so, so EP. That's why he stretched real hard. Yeah. Don't worry about it. This autopsy will be conducted at the request of the Adams Police Department. Initial external oh. evaluation reveals oh, a she's dead. black substance adhered to the face. Oh, she's neck, super dead. Oh, region. okay. Samples have been obtained. Uh, Did she go to the, the mountain? 
Okay, Tiffany, we're recording now. Okay. So, Tiffany, you just had your sixth birthday, didn't you? Okay, are you ready, Tiffany? Okay, so the girl whose baby disappeared dies somehow. And then after locking her up in the in the storage, they could hear the baby crying coming from storage. Great. Okay, are you ready, Tiffany? Good job, Tiffany. Now tell me what's on the other side of the door. It's a small room. Somebody's in there. No, Tiffany, you're alone. No. No, there's someone her. here. He's facing away from me. One, full control of your body. Zero, we're awake to you. You'll return to reality now. Cool. That was so cool. Through a therapy session, it was unlocking it from inside of her mind. And then we get this flash. That was so hard. There's Tiffany, and then Tiffany covered in blood. Uh, Tiffany before and after death. Because eventually she would grow up and then her child would disappear. Maybe, maybe she was never pregnant. Maybe she was so convinced that she would become pregnant that a tulpa began to grow inside of her as a baby would. And then one day disappear. Maybe that's what it was. Who knows? I think she did something to get the baby back too. Because early on in the video... When he's describing how worried he was about her, we keep seeing these brief glimpses of, like, a ritual. But then I don't know how that relates to, like, the, uh... The conjoined twins thing and all that. Here's the guy bringing the dead rat. I'm going to tell you a story, Tim. A story that you can tell me to you. I really don't. Oh my. Alright, well, Tiffany's a demon monster lady trying to kill everyone. <clears throat> Is that the end? Is that. That's where we're at for now, yeah. That's where we're at for now. Dang. Alright, so. In case I didn't make it apparent enough, I love this. Uh, it goes hard. And uh, it should keep going hard. Massive fan. Man, there's, there's a lot of, like, threads left in the air right now. If I was to make a video about it right now, it'd be weird. If, there, if like, one more came out. It's definitely getting a video at some point, I just don't know when. Oh, it's, it's so good, though. Man, those faces were so good, and the themes, the idea of this mountain under the earth. That there's been, like, you know, generations of sacrifice and death to. So good, I love it. Oh, man, Greylock went hard. Big fan, big fan. That's, like, that's like one of the better ones I've seen recently. That's fantastic. Go check out Greylock. Go, even if you just watch the whole series now, go give it likes, comments, subscribe, all that, because they definitely deserve it. That series is great. Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much to everyone for being here. I appreciate it. And that should do it for now. But I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.